Hello, Namaste. My name is Susanna, and today we are in Susanna Talks 2 with Rani, who I only know as Rani, and I found out through the chat that she's Rani Jaktiani. <laughs> and, uh, I've known you now for nine years. Can you believe it? And uh, I found this out now. Anyways, welcome to my chat. I'm very excited to have you on my show. I have a lot of questions. And uh, if anything happens in this chat, you guys might be knowing that already. If anything happens in this chat, I will shut it. I will make a new one and we meet there. Because you can't trust YouTube, no social media. Right, Rani? Hi, everyone. Hi, Suzanne. Hi to all the fans. Namaste. Salamat sore to everyone. I'm so happy to get online with you, but apparently this glitch, but thank God we managed it. Yeah, we managed. For everybody who waited, uh, this took a little bit of time. Hi, Mahendra is there. Mahendra is a longtime fan of mine, and uh, it's very sweet that he's in the chat. So if he's had any question, Mahendra, you just shoot the question over. So Rani, yes. um, I am in Mumbai, and you are in Jakarta. Yeah. Now the question is, uh, people know how a German ended up in India, but how did you end up where you are now in your life? Okay, apparently everyone knows me as Rani Rajesh. So Rajesh yes. was a friend, a boyfriend, and then my husband. And then when we got married, we planned, we said, okay, we have two options, either to go to Africa, oh. because his two brothers are there, or we had a choice to come to Indonesia because I had my mom's family here. So we took the second option and here we are. But let me just tell you one more thing. Uh, apparently, yes. Rajesh was working for a trading company in Jakarta. Okay. And um, his dad was a producer in Sri Lanka. Oh, wow. Yeah. And his dad was in this business. He used to do distribution, production. And we used to, we used to acquire a lot of films in India, in Mumbai, for Sri Lanka and Bombay itself. But the passion never died. So he wanted to continue this business, though he was in a trading place. We did have a side business of ours, the film industry. Okay, but you didn't come so naturally into this whole thing. You were a very unwilling participant, if I get this right. Yeah, you were on a completely different track doing different work. You know, because um, we're married, I kept telling him, listen, I want to work somewhere else. You work somewhere else. So when we both come back at home at night, you know, we can discuss, you know, what happened? Oh, today I did this, tomorrow you, today, today you did that. So he was like, um, okay. So actually I was teaching for five years, primary section. And then, wow. and then I could not travel because he was traveling. I used to accompany him for all the film markets. Then I shifted after five years to an insurance company. And um, these guys shifted. So it's like, you know, so, um, from Bandra to town site, church gate site, something oh. like that. They shifted. And I did not want to go from Bandra to church gate. I'm talking in context to Bombay. Here it is from Jakarta. It's from North Jakarta to South Jakarta. Ah, okay. So, so I didn't this want, was all interesting. I didn't want to travel so much and, you know, and then apparently Rajesh's secretaries, you know, after five, seven years, you know, these girls have to get married or they have to take care of their family and all that thing. So when he offered me, he said, Rani, why don't you come? You know, why don't you join? And this, you know, you like this. And I was like, okay, no harm. Let me think. And one year, two years, three years, and now 10 years, I'm with him. <laughs> so do you think the other jobs helped you, like prepared you for this? Um, not basically for this. Because, um, you know, when I was carrying on with him, I used to always accompany him for all the film fairs. But, of course, overall, yes. Because, you know, you meet different kind of people. So, yes, of course. You're very diplomatic. And you have sometimes very um, uh, flimsy, filmy people. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. besides buying content, buying content. Okay, we're spilling tea. Uh, besides... Um, Buying content and bringing it to uh, Indonesian screens, what I was very surprised when I heard that the first time that in Indonesia, Indian shows are such a big hit. And movies as well. I saw you have a lot of kids stuff as well. You have taken all the children's um, 
things and dubbed them and brought them to Indonesia, Jakarta. So, uh, okay, let me tell you one good uh, example of what happened with us. Uh, we were in a film market, I think it was uh, in Europe, and suddenly this guy comes and, you know, proposes, says, why don't you buy this animation of ours? And we were like, uh, it was only 13 episodes. Up 13 episodes, make kya kar kar kya dekhenge, you know, it's like one, two, three, and it finished. Yeah, it's finished. So, but it was a tough decision for us because the name was Little Krishna. Oh. So, you know, Little Krishna, the do's and don'ts, you know, when you had to, the don'ts were more than the do's when we had to do merchandising. Okay. So, that was an issue. And then Rajesh and I, we, you know, took a suggestion from our godfather. And we asked him, and apparently this godfather is an Indonesian. And he was like, you guys are Hindu. Who else can take care of this? So even if the don'ts are more than the do's, you should go ahead. Okay. So that's how we took little, then we took uh, little uh, Krishna. We had Shiva, Chota Bhim, Bhima Sakti. I mean, 90% of the Indian animation is with us. Wow. But this so the response of the audience when you brought this on, yeah, because it's a different concept towards the country. I mean, Bali is Hindu. Correct. So they can relate to it, but the rest of the country is not, right? Yeah. But besides Indian, we also have the other European, French, American, oh. all kind of animations. So it's not only okay. Indian. Actually, Susan, you know me because, um, you know, I apparently came, met you in India and invited yes. you for. Uh, a meet and greet in Jakarta. And yes. um, you won't believe, you know, apparently the show that I actually invited you was not even acquired by us. Okay. So, so what happened is we started with Mahabharat, Uttaran, Chandra Nandini, and then it just went on. And then apparently mm. um, another company had acquired Ashoka. And when they okay. we heard and they saw that, you know, we guys are calling all these actors, so they approached mm -hmm. us and they said, you know, like, uh, why don't you even try and call our artists? You know, like, so I was like, okay, fine, but we need a letter. So we actually got a letter stating that, you know, they want to use our services so that oh. because they heard so much that, you know, we took good care of all these guys and girls. Who you, do. you do amazing work. I mean, I had a fantastic time in Jakarta. And uh, it was a big surprise to me because I didn't understand, I didn't know that uh, Indian shows are going out of the country and are being dubbed in other languages. It's not only Indonesia, but you are the expert on it. So, and uh, this is uh, this company. You you're working with it for ten years now, but it is older, right? It's very old. It's uh, it's been established in two thousand two. Mm -hmm. So it's like twenty one years now. Hey, 20, wow. 21, correct. But. Okay. So you have, besides um, your husband, you have a daughter and you have an extended family. Your mom is living there as well. And uh, I see you keep on pulling her in to do Instagram reels. <laughs> if you guys want to see that a family doing Instagram reels, you have to go and uh, visit her Instagram, what is Rani Rajesh. And uh, do you see yourself as more... Uh, someone who is from India or somebody who is from Indonesia? Or do you think you're a perfect mix? I, we came up with this term. I spoke to Ravi and it's called a glocal daisy because he lives in New York and he's fully Indian, but he's also New Yorker. So I think, do you see yourself like that? Actually, if you ask me, it's been 30 years in Indonesia, but everyone yet feels I'm very Indian. Maybe, maybe because when we talk, we, you know, we use our hand. And then, you know, Mayar, you know, all those things. And they get like, hey, guy, you're in Indonesia. You're an Indonesian. I'm actually uh, Warga Nagara, Indonesia. So which means I'm, a, I'm an Indonesian now. But I yeah. don't know, they'll say, you know, what well, the Hindustani. It's that way. <laughs> I think that's that Matra Bhumi, Karma Bhumi story, you know, like where you live, you, you can be between two countries because I see you when you're talking to me, you were using Siapa a lot. Yeah, in, in these kinds of terms that I'm not aware of. So uh, what what do you do at home? I have these questions about how is your cooking? Are you cooking Indian or Indonesian or are you uh, mixing it? Because Jakarta is amazing Chinese food as well. And what language do you speak at home? 
Okay, so basically with my family, I speak Hindi and English. So that, you know, and especially with Jia, I want Jia to know a little of Hindi. So I'm happy because she can converse, she can understand. Wow. But when it comes to numbers, she's like, Mama, what is a date? Kya hai? And she's like, why are you not one and two? But that's the thing here. When I came here in the beginning, I was asking people what is right and what is left and, uh, in Hindi. And they were saying right and left. The same for what is thank you. They don't. They didn't say dhanyavad. Mm -hmm. They said it's just thanks. So there's a lot of English culture happening inside this country as well. So I don't think it's a problem that she doesn't know numbers. Oh, Jia has come to say hi. <laughs> hi, hi. So come sit. So tell us how how do how do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as a, a local Daisy? Do you see yourself as an Indian girl in Indonesia, or do you see yourself half half? Because that's your that's your country, no? I feel like I would say I'm half half, even though I'm born here in Indonesia, but I have the Indian blood, so I'm half half. <laughs> uh, does it apply to food? I find a lot of Indians are very like uh, relate, like they relate to India a lot to food. The food, you know, they can't do about uh, without certain uh, food items. They just need their dal chawal or their rotis or their whatever. No, that's not the issue with you. I'm not like <laughs> I'm really multicultural. I like Japanese, Korean, Chinese, all that. We're poles apart. I don't know what is Japanese. I don't know what is Korean. But of course, I've tried it, but I don't care for it. Hey, we have someone else coming. Oh, my God. I got the whole family. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's so much fun. Yeah. You, you, Thank you. Buy one, you get three here. <laughs> oh, amazing. Amazing. You just, you all stay and you just all talk to me. So, Rajesh. Yes. How long? How long you, you had to wear her down for so many years, five years primary school and five years on top of it. Uh, she was doing insurance brokerage. Like you were like constantly hitting away at her that she joins you in the job because you knew she actually, would be fantastic. From day one, I actually wanted her to join. But like what she correctly said, you know, it's, it's better we work at different places because we have different stories to share in the night. Otherwise, we're discussing yeah. the same thing. So actually, I, I let her go because I wanted her to right. get an experience outside. And then she knows how all the bosses are. So oh. now, now there's less complaint because I'm the boss now. My boss is very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is great. I'm loving this. But the fact is, we all know who's the, who's the boss here. Acha. Wait, though, as the whole clan is there, see who's joining me here. So, hey, Akhil, oh, how are you? Akhil, how are you? Akhil, I came. To say hello because the whole Indonesian family is sitting here, Indonesian yeah. Indian. So why not? Uh, <laughs> I should also be yeah, here. Yeah. So happy to see you, Akilji. It's very nice. Same here. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. You guys are having the mangoes. We are not getting the mangoes yet from India. <laughs> they had <a> Oh <laughs> my God! That is. You should. Uh, that's the, the second business you should open up. Import mangoes from here because when I heard we had this discussion today. They don't get mangoes. They get the TV shows, but they don't get the mangoes. Yeah. <laughs> um, we get the local mangoes. Chalega. Hmm? Chalega. Local mangoes. Local mangoes. Yeah, I heard that. I, like I sent you that video about our experience in Germany with the Philippine, Philippines or African mango. What was really weird. It didn't taste like a mango at all. But it was huge. Huh? I saw that. I saw the video. It was really Yeah, big. it was huge. My mom kept on wanting to open it, and I said, "No, it's too early. You can't." And Akilji was enjoying it. I saw that. Yeah, she, she is an enjoy. She enjoys everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you guys all continue. Right. We will we'll leave you all. Go ahead. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Three. Thank you. <laughs> this was fun. This was fun. This was amazing. They just came because apparently I told you I was using Rajesh's mobile, and they knew like you know the battery would die anytime. That's fine. Oh God. Yeah. So they're hooking you up on the charger. No, no, no. They've taken care of the situation. So I'm safe. I don't have to bother in all this technical thing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing everything myself. I'm setting up lights and I'm doing the whole technology part of it and uh, videos I'm editing as well. So come back to you. So we were we, we stopped at the food and you said your daughter doesn't seem to share your uh, kitchen aficionation, that Indian style. What, what do you love the most? What do you like to eat? 
Okay, one thing good about her is that she eats anything and everything. So that's very nice. And especially in school, you know, she has all friends. Some bring Korean, Japanese, Italian, Indonesian. So it's good. But I, if you ask me, I would rather prefer Chinese to okay. Indian or Indonesian. But of course, I do cook all. I mean, little of everything. I think the problem is with the Indian food outside of India, it is that it is not really Indian. It is like something that resembles Indian food, but it doesn't taste the same way. And here there has been this increase of using mirchi in everything, like literally everything. So outside food, I nearly stopped eating it because everything is spicy. And I don't understand why that trend is going on. Um, but when you took us for Chinese food, that was amazing that time. I know, because Chinese is very light and you can eat a lot. And then have a Chinese tea and there it goes down. That's one thing nice. <laughs> yeah. So there's this whole connection with China as well that Jakarta is having and Indonesia is having. Yeah. That I wasn't aware of when I came. I didn't know there's such a huge Indian community there. And then there's a big Chinese community there as well. And Oh, yes, of course. You know, the area that I'm staying in uh, is 90% Chinese. Okay. And like um, 5 or 7% Indian. And Indonesian balance, like 3% Indonesian. But, oh. but, but let me add in the same locality where I'm staying now. In 1998, the riots, this was the worst hit place. Oh, and I didn't know about riots. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and, this and, is and my house actually was affected because, uh, and apparently that day I wasn't feeling well and I had dengue fever. So I was like sleeping at home and these. These guys just came there and they took off everything. They burnt the section. They robbed the house. They ransacked. Luckily, I could call Rajesh and tell him, you know, like, why don't you pick me up? Because, you know, the bus in the area is like, uh, these guys are going to come anytime. But thank God. I mean, he made it in time. He picked me up. But that is one bad experience we had. And uh, it's just, it's just bang opposite my house, you know. So if I'm staying here, it's a, it's a good time. Okay, so I, I, I was not aware of any riots. I'm sorry that uh, there's so much history in the world and I wasn't aware of that. What was the reason for the riots? You, uh, you do Because they had they had actually overthrown the government. So oh, that they wanted, Which year was that? They wanted the president to resign that time. And then, you know, too much of commotion and that's politics anyhow. Okay, of course, but politics is affecting lives, you know, it is it is all interconnected because if, if your politics is uh, cool and calm and you're living in a, in, a, in a good place, then it's affecting your economy, it's affecting how you're living, it's affecting your uh, standard of living because uh, if people are saying I'm not interested in politics, I said that's interesting because you're interested in your welfare, in your economics, in your how much money you have in your wallet, what you can shop, that's all connected to politics. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, when somebody says that, that's a little like uh, narrow-minded or yeah. taking the easy way out. I remember when I met you first time, when I came to India to meet you and talk to you, you know, to invite you guys. And when I saw you first, I was like, oh my God, I don't know what to talk to her. She's an American. But I did not know you were a German, you know. So I was yeah. like, oh God, uh, Hindi ni baat And you spoke so well. And you was kaise when I was like, oh my God. And you knew much more words than you know i your hindi was very should you know i mean i was like that happens when you do shows like that yeah, the, the, the kind of shows i've been doing they always add something to to the vocabulary so it just happens like you said like you correctly said uh in india uh, what is right and left they said right and left what is that yes, they do. thank you no it's daina and what is it called bye and dai mm -hmm. and then of course should yeah. Yeah, which which uh, yeah, you yeah exactly so uh, you have uh, encountered a lot of actors over the years. Yeah, I don't even want to count because there must be so many. Do you have like a couple of stories you can tell that will not like nobody will talk like it, I don't want any bad stuff. I'm just saying you must have encountered some funny stories. We don't need to mention which actor it is. I'm just like you must have seen stuff that like I got this warning. They said when you are uh, just take care of your hair when you're walking through the crowd because they might grab your hair. And I was like, excuse me? And it actually happened. So I was like, okay, I'm holding my hair. I remember because when uh, Rajat had come, Rajat Tokas had come, and uh, he came with his wife, of course. And the moment he entered, 
the moment he came out of the airport and he was entering his, suddenly a fan came and scratched. And actually he was bleeding, you know. I mean, it was not so bad, but he was actually bleeding. So that is one thing I saw and I was like, oh my God, it's his first trip and why did this happen, you know? But uh, I think all the artists, all the stars are quite uh, understanding because they know the fan craze here is crazy. It's crazy. I remember I, I remember the man. first time when we had Mahabharat on air and then we yeah. had some events in Bali and Surabaya and all those places. Uh, we had accompanied them to Bali also. And... You know, when we when we were with the Pandavas, or uh, we were in the car, and literally the the guys were literally shaking our car, and we were like, "Oh God, pata nahi kya hoega? Abhi girenge, abhi ulta hoega." And we were like, "Oh God, fingers crossed. Let's not do anything. Let's go calm." And everything was okay. But there is a crazy fan follower to all the Indian Bollywood stars from Indonesia. It's a, it's a uh, mad. Uh, it it was a, one of these experiences. As it was one of a lifetime experience for me to be in Indonesia, and I will always be grateful that you invited me, and uh, because it was really something else. Seeing the crowd. I mean, I've done events here as well, and people have always been excited about it, or even trying to like. I also have people sitting on the car, not wanting us to leave, so that also happened. I remember, but, I remember when you were on the stage and uh, they asked you to dance and then you, yeah. everybody was yay and then they asked again to repeat it and you did it so well. I mean, you carry yourself so well, you know. Thanks, thanks. It's It was it was lovely. It's, a, it's an amazing thing to be in Indonesia and uh, the connection will always be there, I think, because I still have some Indonesian fans flying around on my Instagram handle and... Uh, that will always be there in the memories of that time. People actually fainting on me and stuff. So you don't, you don't get that all the time. So right now, uh, what show is the big hit in, um, in, Indonesia? in Indonesia? So basically, uh, we managed to give this channel Anupama. So Anupama had been doing very well since last three years in India. Yeah. And... Uh, the TV channel has acquired that from us. But of course, we have the five best shows, mm -hmm. uh, which is Gum, Gum Hai Kisi Ke Naam Ka, and the others, Ye Hai Chate, and all those kind. We yet have that. So we're just waiting. Because Anupama is a big title by itself. And it's already on air in Indonesia and in India. And oh, yeah, Anupama is here. Yeah, yeah that, Anupama is number one here also. It's doing very well. And the thing is, you know, Suzanne, I don't want to hide from you. Uh, the channel did ask me to get all the stars. But, you know, when it's an ongoing show, it's so difficult. It's difficult. I it's mean, difficult, yeah, yeah. Because I was also, they, they didn't want to let us go, me and Siddharth. Like, they were like, in the middle of shooting, the whole thing is, you are on the peak of popularity at that time. Everybody wants you at that time. And you start in a shooting where you have to give the show every day of every month for 14, 16 hours. So it is very difficult to break out of that and do something else and go somewhere else. So, And you know, I can understand because each and every artist, you know, they don't have their own life because they're full-time working. And the moment they have one or two holidays, I'm sure they want to have it with their family. And even if they want mm. to travel, they would want to go it with the family, you know? Yeah, but uh, I think family is also understanding. Our family is traxing along. <laughs> like you got two for one, uh, one for two, when Akil came along and he was so surprised because people knew him from Uttaran and he was like, no, 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 they invited you. Why Why would I? You know, I'm not getting it. Why they want to talk to me? You know? <laughs> it was nice. That was nice. So any more stories that you can tell us about uh, difficulties or fun stories? Nothing controversial, just... I think, you know, about Indonesia, you would know all. Whichever artists had come here, had something or the other, got married to the Indonesians. I think that is everywhere in the news. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that happens, you know. You, you cannot uh, predict when you fall in love and where you fall in love. Like, I didn't know I will get stuck in India. Stuck in a nice way. I'm, I'm, I'm I, not regretting it or anything. But... I don't even know how you met Akhil, you know. Yeah, but that's, this is not my show. This is not about me. This is about you. 
So you you tell me you tell me how you met Rajesh. Oh, Rajesh and I were very good friends, and um, Rajesh's cousin sister was actually staying in the same lane as me in Mumbai. So we used to go in the same school, same school bar. And this is in which country? Wait, which country? Mumbai. Actually, you were in Mumbai at that time. Okay. I'm actually. I, I mean, I used to stay in Mumbai before we shifted here, and then you know, every every Saturday night, Rajesh used to come all the way from Church Gate to okay. my home to meet his cousin okay. sister. And you know, I used to be there. We used to play around. And do you believe it? We actually got entangled and we fell in love with this game called Pictionary. Okay. Do you know what's that game? So. Where you have to guess, I guess. Yeah, I have to draw. Like, so I draw it, yeah. the word that I yeah. get, I have to draw and he has to guess. So we, we were really good paired for that, you know. I mean, we really did well. And then it went on, we got married. And then we had an option of going to Africa, Indonesia. And then, you know, he was like, okay, why don't we go to Indonesia? And he worked by himself. I worked by himself. And today we both are together. So thank God, because... I love traveling, and you know that. Yeah, you do. You do. I you keep I, on hopping and moving. I make the most of been, everything. Uh -huh. But you haven't been here for some time, huh? Um, Mumbai, I think, no. After the COVID, I think we've not traveled. But the only place after COVID we traveled was like Singapore. And of course, now, twice we went to Cannes, to uh, France. Mm. And hopefully, so everybody. Actually, there's actually work happening in the Cannes Film Festival. It's not only uh, celebrities on the red carpet. It's actually uh, one of the biggest um, movie markets, film or content market you could see nowadays. I think it has like uh, branched out. Yeah, not it's not only movies now anymore. It's like every kind of content, right? Right, right. So, so basically, what we go is for the film market to acquire content. So that so for that we go every April and October. Mm. So basically we acquire content for TV channels, mm -hmm. okay. the TV market. Mm. But uh, in the May, I mean, like every May, it's more for this Bollywood thing going on. So we don't. Yeah, the red carpet is full of people who don't have any movie that come. <laughs> so it's a Cannes <laughs> festival in the month of May. So we we don't go for that, but. Actually, we go for something different. So I did. Oh, uh, I thought it's the same thing. So there are three big festivals or three big, big markets because I thought that one in May is also having a side uh, business of uh, because Indian Pavilion is there. And what is happening there then? I thought that's also to connect with people and to do networking. No, no. So basically, April and October is TV market. Okay. Okay. So May May is. The theatrical market, the film, the, uh, the cinema market. Okay. Yeah. So we don't go for so the what? What's next for you guys? Anything exciting happening except uh, so Anupama is running already. So you're trying to get the actors to Indonesia? Um, yeah, maybe later till till they have a good bank of episodes and then we can talk about that later. But uh, what is exciting is I don't know whether I've informed you. We have, our, I told you, right? I think I don't know. Uh, we have our local animation produced. It's oh. P U T R A. Okay. Which means sun. Baby. Yeah. Baby. Sun. Mm. Mm. Wow. So we made, and you won't believe, we actually made this when it was COVID time. So it, it took us a good two, two and a half years to make uh, 52 episodes of 11 minutes animation for kids. Animation takes a lot of time. A lot. My God, don't ask. We were like every day. We, I mean, there was not much work during COVID time. So we actually put in all our time to make this animation. Later on, I'll send you the link. Check it out. <laughs> okay. So, Rani, thank you so much for this uh, time that you gave and uh, for the exciting chat and to see you guys like this. And I hope everybody enjoyed the little stories that you told about and uh, what it is to live as a local daisy in uh, Jakarta with your family. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste. Okay. Thanks to everybody for watching. And this was a really fun, nice, sweet chat. A little different than what we usually do because more people were there. And I loved it. Thank you. Uh,
please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share this video and give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye. Bye.